All right, tonight we're going to talk about um, solutions in light. Specifically, I want to talk to you guys about um, something called Beer-Lambert Law, or more commonly referred to as just Beer's Law. Um, so the amount of light that is absorbed by a solution can be used to determine the concentration of the absorbing molecules in that solution via the Beer-Lambert Law. Um, here's the equation for Beer-Lambert Law. So you've got um, A equals epsilon LC. So A is absorbance, and it doesn't have a unit associated with it. Um, epsilon is the molar absorptivity or molar extinction coefficient, and the units are liters per mole uh, centimeter. And basically what it tells us is it tells us um, how much those molecules absorb the light because some molecules absorb more light than others. Um, L is the distance that light kind of travels through the solution, and as we'll see in a second, that makes a difference, and um, it's measured in centimeters. And then C is the concentration of the absorbing species, or how many moles per liter you have, which is, as you guys know, it's molarity. So here's like a visual representation of something you would do in a lab. So um, here you have a beam of light and it's going to be a certain wavelength of light and um, that's going to depend on what color solution um, you are dealing with and then you're going to have uh, you have a ruler here and the ruler you can use to measure the path length and path length is the distance that the um, light is traveling through the absorbing molecules in the solution here you have um, a little uh, Basically, it's just a little tool that can be used to, we call it a spectrophotometer, but basically it tells us, that can tell us transmittance and absorbance, but we're going to worry about absorbance. And so I just wanted to show you a couple of things. So here you see our absorbance value is 0.51, and if you increase the path length, you see the absorbance goes up, so that means there's more molecules in the way of the light, so more of the light is being absorbed and less is making it through to this. And you see if you lower your path length, so that's about where we were previously, um, it decreases your absorbance because there are less molecules to absorb the light, and so more light makes it through to the sensor over here. Okay? Um, and then if you change the concentration, that's something else I wanted to show you guys. So as you change the concentration, you see the solution getting darker, you also see that there is more and more and more light being absorbed because there's more and more and more molecules here to absorb that light. So that was just some stuff I wanted you to look at. And then, of course, here we have green light um, that is being at a wavelength of 508 nanometers. That's being passed through the solution. But if you change what you're dealing with, like maybe copper sulfate, which is a pretty blue color, then you have this other color, um, it's of wavelength 780 nanometers that you're going to need to use. So it does depend on what solution you're doing as to what wavelength you want to use. All right, so in general, in an experiment, um, you're going to have a set of solutions that you know the concentration of them, and you're going to determine their absorptivity or how much they're absorbing. Then you're going to graph that data. So you're going to graph how much they absorb, versus what their concentration is. Then you're going to get a sample that you don't know the concentration of, and you're going to test it to see what its absorptivity is. And then you're going to use your little graph that you uh, made previously to determine the concentration of that unknown. So here's a little graphic for you. So here we have um, four solutions that we knew the concentration of, and we determined their absorbance. So um, and then we made our little graph, and it should be a linear relationship. And then we have an unknown, and so our unknown, uh, our absorbance was at this mark up here, and so if we trace that over to where that hits on our best fit line, and then trace it down to our concentration, we can determine the concentration um, of an unknown solution. 